<clears throat> guys oh <laughs> um, uh, my name is Dara Eyang welcome back to my channel every day with Dara Eyang if you've not yet subscribed this is the right time to do so please click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification for more videos from me thank you all right guys we've been on this issue about people having sex with dogs or animals but cool cash and guys in case you are wondering the cash is cool though in terms of the fact that the cash is a lot imagine making 1 million 2 million plus in one night let's say approximately 10 hours of work let's say but it's just one night one sitting okay 1 million naira or even in some cases 1 million dollars if you're doing it in places like dubai okay imagine that ah that's a lot of money now guys I now started saying okay let me because i've been hearing things like this but i just don't know it was this rampant so i got interested in this and i was like let me research on this thing now apparently um in case you're wondering the this act is known as bestiality bestiality is the act of um, performing sexual intercourse um between a man a human being and an animal okay basically a sexual intercourse between a human being and an animal okay any animal not just dog all right and apparently it actually seen as um illegal like you it's, it's a it's a crime all right it's not something you should come out and say you're doing if not if they catch you you are liable to you spend time in jail all right and apparently it's very 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 common you see it happen all over the world in India, China, US, UK, Dubai, of course, that's the headquarters. <laughs> places like Dubai, even places like Italy. In fact, the whole of Europe, I wash my hands. When you speak in a year Europe, eh, I run away from things from Europe is like the headquarters of this type of thing. And there's a lot of benefits to them. Now, first of all, you would first of all think, let me ask you what do you think comment below and let me know in the comment section why do you think people do this because majority most of the videos and um, let's say the focus has mostly been on the fact that there is instant gratification these ladies get paid money instantly right there right then okay one million naira they'll give them the one million naira okay one million dollars they'll give them the one million dollars right there right then it's not at the end of the week is not at the end of the month it's not at the end of the year they make the money immediately now that has been the focus now what is it any other is there any other benefit because in my opinion no <laughs> there's huge more benefits and it's more of like yahoo plus plus a busy yahoo plus is it two pluses or one plus anyways there is i feel like there is a yahoo components in that thing now before i go into that like i told you i've been um researching on this thing called bestiality and i saw quite some some shocking examples of bestiality and i was like mm -mm, i have to come and share it with my youtube family like i cannot do this i cannot see this alone you people need to see it <laughs> all right now i wrote some of them down so in case you see me reading down looking down i am trying to read from my notes okay i'm just going to give you snippet now there's apparently there's this man that was just jailed it was jailed okay this is from phoenixnewstime.com you can verify it there phoenixnewtimes.com now um this man was just jailed for um basically um, um abusing his ex-girlfriend only for him to be caught with him and two other ladies um performing the foursome yeah foursome with a dog all right and of course it is against it is illegal so he was arrested again that's one another case was seen where three people came together they were like mm, we need to do this bestiality thing yes where do we find a dog okay we don't want a dog or we cannot catch any of the neighbor's dog what do we do they went to craigslist you people if you're not familiar with craigslist craigslist is the headquarters of all the Okay, there are some good people there buying and selling, but a lot of crime has gone down on Craigslist. In fact, there are many movies based on Craigslist itself. Many murder mystery movies made based on Craigslist. Anyways, they went to Craigslist, bought a dog, and performed this bestiality act on this dog. Apparently, they were caught, thank God, and they faced um, um, legal charges. 
because of it. Then another of, um, example is seen where this man in 2001, I even know the year, I was like, I have to write this year because I don't understand. Did he take something before he went there? Apparently, he went for a job interview. How can you go for a job interview? You know, normal questions, they will ask you after like, they've asked you serious questions. Okay, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And blah, blah, blah. They will ask you, have you ever been convicted of a, of a crime? Like, do you have any criminal history? Do you just want to know who they are employing? This guy decided to be an honest person. Like, I have changed. I am now a Christian. I am now an honest person and told them the truth. First, he confessed to actually abusing a minor. They were, guess how old this minor was? Two years old. Nobody knew about it. He confessed to that in his job interview. I don't know what he was thinking. But I was thinking that after the job interview, after he finished confessing, okay, they might not give him a job or that's all. He confessed to that and then he confessed to actually performing, I cannot, in fact, sexually assaulting, not performing. Three different animals. Dog, pig, and a horse a horse my brothers and my sisters <laughs> i was like what came over this man <laughs> why are you telling us all of this what is going on in your mind how do you think this meeting is going to con be concluded like what do you think is going to happen after they finish interviewing you do do or do hand you your document be like oh thank you for coming for this interview please you can go home what was he thinking anyways let's that's one that's the third one Okay, the fourth one is so you know all these horse um stables now where they where they keep horses stable. <laughs> they actually found eight horses that have been sexually assaulted. That's after checkup they found it because they found uh, uh, one of the is it workers or the owner or something was going through the stable and saw um and um, sex toy toys lubricants and human s e m e n guys. On the floor, so he had to call the police. They now, they now um, called a, a a doctor for the horses to like investigate and check them up, and they found out that eight horses were assaulted. Now they couldn't find out who was doing all of these assaults, so nobody was convicted in that case. That's the first one. The fifth one is um, it's actually there's so much um story about it. They just found out that a goat, a goat, like a goat, a goat. I have to say this over and over a goat like who does this to goats <laughs> a goat was raped in 2005 um, and i'm like what that's the fifth one the sixth one is um they just found a dog that was bound together it's like you know how people people get kidnapped and then sexually assaulted bound together murdered and all that they did a lot of that to a dog like full-on binding sexually assaulting everything burnt killed all right next one is this this lady was in her house she has a dog the dog went missing she was not looking for the dog going from like she didn't find the dog after she like almost gave up she now found the dog at her backyard already dead already gone found out that the dog was adopted and also sexually assaulted and then killed in the process and they came out dump the body there for her like what the what the hell things are happening you know they also found um two puppies that were just six weeks old both of them less than two pounds uh, um heavy all right they were all they, they just found out that they, were, they, they had been dead basically after investigating they realized that they were raped as well now they they investigated the owner the owner did not say not doesn't know what what happened to the dog and they tried finding out who did this they even offered five thousand us dollars so whoever will bring you know um good you know information to catch the culprit and nobody could it's it basically still an open case now another one um is that this man was outside with his puppy he was this one was even in public he was outside this, with his puppy and then he used the puppy's mouth to pleasure himself in public while looking at a kid and the people that were the kid with the kid were like ah what is this it was like he's doing it because the kid is looking at him and if the kid doesn't stop looking at him this is what he's going to do to the kid ah, ah, ah. oh my god 
a lot are happening no a lot are happening in this world i was looking at it, i'm like god well i don't know comment below let me know do you think this is also a crime in nigeria like legally a crime in nigeria like if somebody comes to the police to actually um, report that ah this guy sexually or this lady um slept with a an animal or whatever do you think this person is going to be um brought up for charges in court or do you think it's, it's just going to be like oh well whatever what do you think guys i i want to know what you think in this case i, I don't know if it's, if it's i don't even think they will take it seriously because we nigerians they don't even like not every single one of them but majority of these nigerians we grew up in the ghetto not all i know there's some dog there's some Nigerians that love their puppy and they hold their puppy and they Maybe the time you, you, you see the you of dogs, it's like this street animal that we don't, they're always pursuing us and we have to push, we have to either, de either, either defend ourselves or pursue them back to show them who's boss. <laughs> so I don't know if they will take it as a serious crime, is all I'm trying to say. But comment below and educate me on that. Do you think it's a crime in Nigeria to do all of this? okay and if you've not watched my other in my channel i've actually done quite a number of videos about this bestiality thing the first one was just basically talking about everything the video of, of all of that and then i also advised about in case you are one of those people that are getting money by doing this act ah god if you don't care about your health at least care about your the spiritual implication okay fine tell everybody that cares about spiritual things fine if you do not care about your spirit the spiritual implication care about your health that same money that you're getting from doing all of this you still use the same money to treat yourself so what is the use guys what is the use eh anyways comment below and let me know what you think about this um Comment below and let me know what else you think about bestiality and the rest. Um, I'm interested in knowing what you think about that. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share the family. Share up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And click on this subscribe button and turn on the notification while you are at it. In this channel, I talk about um, Nigerian entertainment news. I talk about topics like this okay i'm interested in topics like this all right um click on that subscribe button and then i will see you in the next video i drop i'll see you all right thank you for watching and bye